you guys would get off your asses and come to Oktoberfest, this is what's waiting for you. Biggest party in the world. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Why are you there and not here? I, I don't get it. You are about to watch Free Sheets in Munich. Um, you'll see in the pop-ups that one of the things every night, that we every city talked about world, when we were there yeah. was should People the whole episode be about Oktoberfest? As it is, I think it's my only about half the episode is about Oktoberfest. And really, it does deserve its own episode. Um, that was really, I think we were there for only one day or day and a half. And then uh, I wipe out on the treadmill, which is everyone's favorite bit. This is Three Sheets. Warning, beer and conveyor belts do not mix. You'll see more of that later, but first, So somehow I convinced the uh, producers of the show to let me drive on the Autobahn because they figure it's a guy's show because I'm a guy. And, uh, you know, a real man's trip to Germany is not complete without a trip on the Autobahn. So I should be able to go a little bit faster than probably Curtis the camera guy is prepared to go. I'm headed to Munich capital city of the ancient land of Bavaria and the southernmost state in Germany. 140, 150, 160. I'm headed there in search of the ultimate Bavarian drinking experience. Are you scared? <laughs> Ever heard of Bavarian whiskey? I'm impressed. I had no idea you guys made, you guys made whiskey. <laughs> oh, that's nice. What's the difference between American schnapps and Bavarian schnapps? Is this something uh, guys drink? <laughs> Damn it. Oh yeah, and there's that quaint little annual get-together called... Oktoberfest! Yeah! But why do they celebrate Oktoberfest? We must oh, get it real and yeah. have a good time. <laughs> what makes Oktoberfest beer different from other beers? Take a good, uh, the flavor of the beer. Plus, why are these guards mad at me? Who? No. Go get yourself a beer, yeah. and I'll do my best to make you feel like you're right here with me. Yeah when I go three sheets hey! to Bavaria. Hey! So right now we're going about 240 kilometers per hour. I'm not, I'm not gonna translate it into miles per hour right now. They'll put it up on the screen. Yeah, that's pretty fast. Translated into English, Autobahn means motorway. It's used to refer to all highways in Germany, 20% of which have unlimited speed. Ooh! Hey! Some of those unlimited stretches are here in Bavaria. There we go. See ya, bitch. Munich, where I'm headed, is the largest city in all of Bavaria. Here they call the town München, which means monks in German. Of course, for me, it means schnapps and beer. But first, maybe a little something to soak it up. Hey, what do you know? And no, I didn't plan on going to a bakery with the same name as the much celebrated American brew. I just want a pretzel. Pretzel. And I'm told they make the best ones in town. Okay, first, you have to look that it's it's like this. I don't want to break it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How's that? That's pretty good. Okay, so then just so. <laughs> you did that too fast. <laughs> okay, slow. Hey, oh! Yeah. <laughs> Time to go big! <laughs> hey, yum, hey, la. After we tie it, we let it rise. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Season it. Stop it! It's the world's biggest pretzel. Ah. Cook it. Then all we gotta do is eat it. You wanna try some of my pretzel? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Who makes the best pretzel of any American in a pink shirt? I think it's me or. Oh. Both. Okay. Be <laughs> Yeah, pretzels make great projectiles, 
and great sponges, which is a good thing, because I'm about to soak up some booze. So I head to the trendy neighborhood of Glockenbach to check out a popular bar called Zootsies. I'd say Zoos, Zoosies. Zoosies, yeah, okay. <laughs> you wanna, you say Zootsies. Zootsies, yeah. Zootsies. Hello, how are you? I'm here, Zootsies. I have a gut feeling I'll get my fill of beer tomorrow at Oktoberfest. I will drink two beers at Oktoberfest today. So Jens, the bartender, is gonna show me something different. Bavarian spirits, including something I didn't expect to see. This one I'm looking forward to trying. This is whiskey. You heard me right. This is whiskey. When I think of whiskey, I think of Scotland, Ireland, Canada, Kentucky, and Tennessee. But Bavaria? We don't have any old whiskeys. Okay, so Just this is, this this is the only whiskey made in Germany. It's called Slyers. Slyers. Nice. Wow, that's good. It's yeah. good whiskey. It's real good. I'm impressed. I had no idea you guys made whiskey, and that's a good whiskey. Actually, it makes sense. After all, whiskey is essentially distilled beer, and the Bavarians know beer. Slyers uses single malt barley and local spring water from the town of Schlierzy. At 86 proof, it packs a punch. I'm impressed. Ooh. Speaking of hard alcohol from the Bavarian town of Schlierzy. It's also from Schlierzy. Bless you. Schlierzy. Bless you. <laughs> it's Wald Himbeer. Wald Himbeer. Right. So it's raspberry from, from the forest. Okay. It's also very hard. Is it like a schnapps? Yeah, it's okay. the typical Bavarian schnapps. Okay. So, yeah. He serves it to me in a champagne flute, which gets me wondering, is this something uh, guys drink? Yeah, that's a guy's drink. Really? So it's a oh, real, good heavens. Yeah, it's a real, real, real good one. Not bad. Do you just sip it? Yeah. What the <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! So why did it make wow. me swear in German? <laughs> I think it's time to clarify something. The difference between German schnapps Jawohl. and American schnapps. Hey, dude. American schnapps is loaded with sweeteners and added flavorings. Its alcohol content usually hovers around 20% or 40 proof. In Germany, on the other hand, the word schnapps refers to distilled beverages with no added sweeteners. German schnapps can be made from fruit pulp, grains, or roots. It's about twice as potent as schnapps from the States. What is the alcohol? 84 proof. Wow. Next, an apple pear schnapps. But before drinking it, I need to brush up on some proper etiquette. And what do you do? Do you pound it? Yeah, of course. Oh. <laughs> you have to. All right. What do you say? Prost. Prost is German for toast. It even has the same dual meaning as toast does in English. It works as both a drinking salutation and a word for cooked bread. But Prost isn't the only toast around here. Zum Wohl. Zum Wohl. Zum. Zum. Wohl. 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 Yeah, right. Zum Wohl. <laughs> yeah. Zum Wohl. Zum Wohl. Zum Wohl. Some wool. Some wool. Okay, bye bye. This apple pear schnapps is 76 proof. Again, these German schnapps are not the super sweet liqueurs used as mere mixers in the that's, States. That's good. That's strong, man. You guys have some strong ass schnapps. Strong enough <laughs> to make me call it a night. Print. Because I had to save myself for the biggest party in the world. I can't get enough beer. Oh, hello. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Pleplius.com. That's P-L-E-E-P-L-E-U-S dot com. <laughs> I'm in Bavaria, about to tackle the one and only Oktoberfest. Huh, sure would be nice to fit in around here. I'm gonna get myself in some posing, and if I'm lucky, they'll be leader. 
Lederhosen, by the way, is German for leather pants. You know, here, we'll, you know what we'll do is we'll, we'll look at a few, and then we'll try them out. Yeah, these are pretty cool, too. And then what do I, so I have these, right, and now I need a shirt. Medium, large. You wouldn't normally see a shop with racks and racks of Lederhosen, but since it is Oktoberfest time, there's a mm. seasonal demand. See, yeah, see, the only thing is I'm straight, so I probably want something like that. Yes. Yeah, is that sexy, yes. though? Yes. Okay. You can try it on. And then, um, what about my, um, suspenders or something? Mm -hmm. After a little shopping, I'm a new man. Let's do this. Woohoo! I know. It's crazy. I'm on my way to the Wiesen. That is the Wiesen this way. The Wiesen is a massive festival ground with games. Um punkt. I, I don't know. Rides. And of course, these places. Beer tents. Now these tents used to be tents, and now they're actual structures. All six of the major Bavarian beer companies sponsor 14 tents, some holding up to 10,000 people at a time. It literally is the biggest party in the world. Your mission here, if you're gonna come, to, look, if you're coming to Oktoberfest, here's what you need to know. You gotta get here early, and you gotta stake your claim on one of these tents, because you're not gonna be able to bounce from tent to tent. You need to get in one of these tents, you need to just make your plot, and you need to stay there. Because if you leave, they'll send someone else into your place, and you're not gonna get back in. Let's go in and see if we can't get a beer. Friends, three sheet watchers, is that the, um... Once inside the Hofbrau tent, I convinced a group of people to let me sit down with them for a minute. I bought them a round of beers, which I think is gonna put me back about 150 bucks. <laughs> but I'm not paying for it. Three sheets is. And I'm not even gonna look at the producer to see if it's okay that I go ahead and do it. I'm just gonna reach my hand out and get money. Okay, we have our beers. We're at Oktoberfest. Hey! Party time! Woohoo! I will drink two beers at Oktoberfest today. Oh! As is the case with all the tents, every seat in this place has been reserved. In some cases, up to a year in advance. <laughs> I can't get enough beer! I don't have reservations at this table or any other table in any other tent for that matter. But these people are nice enough to let me hang with them until the people who reserve the empty seats arrive. If you do reserve seats in one of the Oktoberfest tents, the custom is to stay there all day long and drink and get to know the others at your table. Or if you're like me and you don't have reservations, plan on standing a lot. There'll be plenty of others doing the same thing. Oh, and if you don't want to be a so-called Plan on drinking a lot. In German, we're saying. <laughs> what does that mean? We, we say um, you drink the breath of your beer. Yeah. Um, as I said before. At once. At once. At once. Yeah. The breath of your beer at once. Okay. Or you are the biggest <laughs> at Munich. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes. Do okay. it. Anymore. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay! Yeah. 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 Over at another table, I get to wondering, should people really be doing this when drinking this much? I have no 
idea why they're doing this, but I do know this. It's against the rules. Who? No. Here's the table. Oh, it's, it's. We got yelled, we got yelled at for lifting the table up. Of course, I'm the one that got yelled at for it. You know what? It was my, it was my idea. I'm sorry. Oh, you're so good. You're so good. This is probably a good time for me to get the heck out of here. Okay, this is tent number two. This is called Bavaria Heaven. See, every tent has a theme. This is Bavaria Heaven. This is the Hawker tent. And while I walk in there, why don't you guys watch a little documentary on how the Hawker Brewery works. Enjoy. As is the case with all the Bavarian brew makers at Oktoberfest, Hawker Shore produces a brew specifically for Oktoberfest. It's slightly hoppier and higher in alcohol content than their normal brew. The, the flavor of the beer should be very um, smooth. <laughs> Take a sip and feel the bitterness of the beer. Just for the Oktoberfest, we produce about 10,000 hectoliters every year, one million liters. That's the equivalent of 2,816,012 ounce bottles of beer on the wall. <laughs> 2,815,999 bottles Thanks, of professor. beer. Thanks, Professor. Back inside Bavarian heaven, I'm not drinking out of a 12 ouncer. Cheers. I'm drinking out of a one liter tankard called a Moss. OK, get this. This is larger than the typical American beer. It's about 24 ounces. This is an Oktoberfest beer. Between all the beer tents, a little over six million of these are sold at Oktoberfest. In fact, roughly 30% of all the beer manufactured by all six of the Munich breweries is consumed during the two and a half weeks of Oktoberfest. Yet despite the massive consumption of alcohol, people remain surprisingly civil. You gotta understand, people at Oktoberfest are very friendly. You will not find a fight. If you had this many drunk people in America, you'd have fights breaking out all over the place. These people are happy and drunk. And they're well fed. Roughly half a million whole chickens are eaten at Oktoberfest. Another half a million sausages are eaten. As for pretzels, I can't find you any stats on that, but it's a lot. Big boy, want some of that? So why do people celebrate Oktoberfest anyway? Eh, go crazy. Seriously, it's nothing. Coming up, the story behind the party. All the people from all over the world yeah. are here and make party, party, And party. all these people watching Three Sheets are home drinking beer, I hope. If you're, if you're, if you're watching the show and you're not drinking a beer, what's wrong with you? Oh, hello. <laughs> This episode is brought to you by Pleplius.com. That's P-L-E-E-P-L-E-U-S dot com. <laughs> I'm at the one and only Oktoberfest in search of the ultimate Bavarian drinking experience. And I found the ultimate Bavarian. You look awesome. Yes. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> I want to do that. He tells me he spends about an hour curling it in the morning. Good thing, because when it's not curled, it would tend to get in the way. This is from here to yeah. here, one meter ten. Really? Yes, I must go one, 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 one point meter one ten. meters. That's about a yard, I think. The ultimate Bavarian yep. soon shows me a common Bavarian custom, snuff. Hey How you feel? Very much. By the way, the snuff thing is not just something older Bavarian dudes with strange beards do. For some reason, it kind of brings me back to Japan when I ate a ball of wasabi. Pile of hot wasabi sauce. <laughs> yeah, <I'm very> <laughs> yeah, the snuff kind of burns, but a little beer makes it all better. I think it's time to take my freshly damaged sinuses and make a move for tent number three, hosted by Spotten. Here, I find someone who might be able to answer the question that's been on my mind since I got here. Why celebrate Oktoberfest? You must drink beer and yeah. have a good time. Yeah, you see, 
I got that part. I got that part down real good. But why drink and have a good time here during this time of the year? Time to get out the Three Sheets history book. In the year 1810, a beloved princess named Teresa married Prince Ludwig in an open meadow roughly 100 acres in size. Apparently, it was quite the reception because the party lasted for over two weeks. In honor of that, every year since, Bavarians have returned to the same grounds for a two and a half week anniversary celebration, starting in mid-September and lasting through early October. This area is called Theresienwiesen, meaning Teresa's Meadow but most people just call it the Wiesen or Meadow. Hi, how are you? Back at the Wiesen, I've been to three tents, and now I'm gonna to attempt to get into a fourth. Can we come in? I know, but we have a television crew. We have a television. It's early evening, the place is packed, it's one in, one out, and nobody's coming out, so nobody's going in. You can't get in, even if you have a television crew which I have. Actually, I could use a break from all the drinking. After all, I've had four liters of beer, which is roughly the equivalent to 11 12 ounce bottles. Huh, I wonder how my balance is doing. What better way to test it than by jumping on a moving conveyor belt? Yeah! <laughs> Call that a four liter fall. And the perfect ending to a Bavarian beer blitz. Which gets me wondering, will I be in pain tomorrow? Not only from the fall, but also the 135 ounces of stronger than average beer. We'll see. Oh, hi there. I am what the Germans call kata, or hungover. So I've, I've chosen to not go out for my hangover remedy, but to have it brought to me. So I'm gonna call down to reception and have him bring it to me. Last thing I remember, something about a conveyor belt. No! I don't know, maybe that didn't happen. Reception here? Yes, how are you? I'm calling for the hangover cure. Okay, you have a hangover? Yeah, I have one. Do you have one too, <laughs> you crazy girl? Hey, let me ask you something. If I want a typical German um, hangover meal, can you bring that to me? Yes, typical in Munich we eat Weißwurst. It's the typical Bavarian breakfast food. And yes, it's usually served with pretzels and beer. That dark sauce is a Bavarian sweet mustard. I've been told you, uh, you peel the sausage. It's veal sausage, and the casings are pork guts. I'm not a rabbi. I don't know how to skin one of these things. <laughs> it's very mild in flavor. Probably a good thing when you have a sensitive stomach. Wow. Oh my god, I feel so much better. But no, it does not instantly cure a hangover. I'm the pretzel. Oh well, that's the price you pay when you host a drinking show. I'm a trooper. Bye bye <laughs> Alvida Zane. Alvida me. <laughs> so there you have it. A place where you can drive fast. Let's go fast! Hungry for Hassan's Hosen's Nefa! Nein! Or drink fast. But never do both. A place where the schnapps are strong. <laughs> The beers are big and strong. I need more beer! But the barmaids are even stronger. Bavaria! I came, Perfect. I drank, I fell. But at least I was able to wear leather pants and suspenders and still be cool. Can you say, irresistible? Ching ching! Yeah! Hi, I'm Zane Lamprey. Did I come into frame there enough for you, Curtis? I'm gonna try that again. In Germany, is this just a shepherd? You have two ways of driving a car. Slow, like the girls drive it. Or fast, like a man. Ah! 